Single digit temperatures are expected all week long and we all know that safety is a top priority and that includes your home. Absolutely. Kira Cotton is joining us live this morning on tips on how to prevent one of the most common winter problems that's frozen pipes. Kira, this happened to me last year. It's awful to go through. Oh no, I can only imagine Maureen. You're absolutely right though, but freezing and bursting pipes are one of the most common causes of property damage during these winter months. But our friends over at Ace Hardware shared some tips on how we can lessen the headache of additional costs and cleanup. So the first thing they say is they want to make sure that you open up your cabinets. You want to let the air from your home in so that they make contact with those pipes and prevent them from freezing. The other thing you want to do if you want to go on top of your sink is let the water trickle so that they, they don't freeze and that they when the pipes do thaw they have somewhere to go. But again, Experts say it's important to take action so you don't have to react later. I would leave like as many of your faucets, especially like the tubs with, um, you know, allow a little bit more flow of water. Leave those open completely. I wouldn't even leave them at a drip anymore. Um, so that way, like I said, when the pipes do start to thaw, it has a place to escape and it's not just, you know, bursting out of the pipes. Now, another thing that you can consider is where you keep the thermostat at. I know it's a common discussion in many households. What should the temperature be? Well, experts say it should be no longer low, lower than 55 degrees here at WKY Studios. We have it at 66, so that's just about right. Coming up in the next few minutes, we'll go outside to make sure that your vehicle is ready to hit the road during these frigid temperatures. Yeah. The thermostat debate, always one that uh, gains popular opinion. So, Kiara, thank you so much. <laughs> That's right.